Change is coming fast at the top of Duval County Public Schools. It is now official. Dr. Nikolai Vitti will be taking the superintendent job in Detroit. In a statement, he said, quote, I leave the district knowing that it is in a better state than when I started. But as Channel 4 Scott Johnson reports, parents of students at lower performing schools say there's cause for concern. The news came out that the Detroit School District approved Dr. Nikolai Vitti's contract, and that means he's leaving Jacksonville. It's a move for him that's not totally surprising, being that he's from the Detroit area, and the salary in would be around an estimated $295,000 a year. Tiffany Williams' daughter is a student at Rebalt Middle, which had a recent D grade, and she's a little concerned about a shakeup in the district. What are some of the problems you see at the school? It's this way. Um... I guess the kids just do what they want to do now these days. You know, I guess that's the problem right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they, they want to do what they want to do. I spoke with another mother whose children go to Annie R. Morgan Elementary, another school with a similar grade who has seen improvements under VD. Yeah, year by year. Year by year it's getting better? Yeah. VD's departure was met with mixed emotions throughout the district. I've spoken with district employees who are not fans of VD and support a change at the top, while others have admired what he's done. So parents like Carlos Canales, who decided to put his child in a charter school, will watch and see where Duval schools go from here. Who's going to take the flag now? That's the now big we're question. Square one, you know. Then so it's now the kids are lost again. And then you know with the. Uh, with the teacher, staff, all that's going to be, everything's going to be redone around. You don't have a leader now, so without a leader, we got nothing. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station. Duval County Public Schools will be holding a special meeting Monday where an interim superintendent will be named. Then the search will begin for a permanent replacement for VD. Once we find out who the interim will be, we'll update you on news4jax.com.